Okay, in this video we will show you how to repair a Dell E177FPF 17-inch flat panel monitor that's having power problems. Um, this unit, when you apply power and push the power button, you get no display, no power light, and if you listen very closely, you hear a slight whining or buzzing sound. Um, that's one of the indications of a failure on the power supply. Um, it can also present itself with just a flashing power light. Um, so we're going to show you how to take it apart and do that repair on it. First thing, of course, is just remove the base. Let's depress the button and the base, uh, you know, the base and stand come off. Then you, of course, need to remove the VGA cable and the power cables, which we've already done for this unit. Uh, next thing we need to do is take the plastics off. So you take a Phillips screwdriver. There's four screws behind this back panel where the uh, mount, uh, mounting stand was. So we need to remove those four screws. Be sure to keep up with all the screws as you're going through the different phases so that you can put the unit back together. Now we flip it over. If you grab the center bezel in the bottom, and kind of lift up and twist it a little bit. It'll start separating the little plastic clips and then you just kind of unzip it the rest of the way around. Just lift and they will pop off. And you want to leave the front bezel on and flip the unit over and remove the back case first. want to set that case to the side. Now in the center, the little button that you pushed to remove the monitor from the stand needs to come off. You need to be sure to keep it um, and put it back in because this is what releases the stand from the monitor. And if you put it all back together and forget the little push button when you put the stand on, it's going to be very difficult to get the monitor back off the stand. Um, okay, now what we need to do is flip the unit back over so we can take off that front piece. The reason we had to do it that way is sometimes this control panel will stick to the front bezel and you don't want to break the wiring on it. So we just remove the front bezel now. Okay, now on each end of the unit there are two screws. They're standard Phillips, so we'll remove those on each end. And now we, while we have the monitor facing forward, you can lift up on the control panel. It's held on with double-sided sticky tape in a couple of locations. And you just want to pull it off of that monitor panel so that we can take the panel off. Now turn the unit over. The next thing is going to be to remove the signal cable. It's behind this little cover. You lift up, slide the cover over, and then you have access to it. It's this little black cable. Uh, it's connected to the board with a plastic connection. If you gently lift up on one end the screwdriver and then lift up on the other end, just kind of work it free. I have to go back and forth until it pops loose of its connector. And that one is down. The next thing that you'll need to do is disconnect the backlights themselves. You'll have a blue and black and a pink and white cable on the top and then another set on the bottom. They just unplug. The next thing you do is take your Phillips screwdriver. Again, there's two screws, one on each side of the power socket. Then you'll need a 3 16 nut driver to remove the two bolt head, or nut head bolts on the sides of the VGA connector. Now you can lift up this assembly, feed the backlight wires through, and 
we can flip it over. And here is the control panel slash power supply board that we will be working on. There's a couple of screws that will need to be removed. cables and just come through these little tabs and then you should be able to lift the power supply board out and this is the board we will be working on. Uh, we will be replacing the capacitors, the large power capacitors on the board and bringing it back to life. Um, so now we're going to take it over to the soldering station, replace those capacitors and get this board back up and running. <laughs>